two bad things have happened. Just everything's running through my mind of why, what happened. There was a surprise, but it wasn't the surprise that we wanted. There was no females that were really like acting like it was their mother to this baby. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for watching us. Got a story for you today. Spring is off and running. It has been a crazy past two weeks. Filmed an entire labor of Bell Star having her calf to kick off our 2024 calving season. It's here right now. Then we do a little family herd check with Brooks and Marissa, and we've got another surprise baby. And then we get a new addition to the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch, a new little Bay Roan filly from my buddy Mark. Now we've got two horses. Cora's got a buddy now. They're kind of getting along, sort of. Slow process, we'll keep you updated on that as well. Well, the story I'm about to tell you is a tough one. Hit me straight in the heart on this one, but so Brooks and I did a little herd check one morning. Fingers, babe. Oh. You got some visitors. Uh, we went out, just normal occasion, like we always do. We uh, we take care of the horses and all the critters, and the next thing we do is we just go straight out to the pasture because it's red dog season. Red dog season has kicked off here um, for us. We go and do our herd checks like normal because we're expecting some babies. This time, Brooks wanted to film, so I actually. I had a little fun and I let Brooks film. <laughs> Hold your camera up. Two hands like this. There you go. <laughs> Is it heavy? <laughs> no. Here, raise it up so you so you can the camera can see. There you go. Let's go see if we can film those babies. I'm just doing my normal checks, counting all the females, making sure the babies are good. I kind of noticed a couple cows off away from the herd and I noticed they were smelling something. So we drove over there and what I realized from a distance is I saw a red dog laying down. I immediately knew something was up because the two red dogs uh, were completely fine. Brooks was filming them. Here's the babies. Here, hon. I can't see it. Uh oh, there's one left. Right there. I see one, Dad. There's two of them right there, right there, and right there, and right there. Want to see? Pity yeah. yeah, You got the babies? Yep, yeah, at the babies. Who's there, little buddy? After calf single day, we have a calf. We have. So as Brooks and I kind of got closer, I needed to get a closer look, and she's filming and talking and watching the bison, trying to film the calves. I'm trying to keep her distracted because I know we have a little issue going on over here. Thank you. Dang it. So, pull up closer and we've lost the red dog. This is the interesting part here. On this red dog, that was obviously didn't make it, something happened. Not knowing what happened, I'm trying to keep Brooks distracted. She's eating some leftover Easter candy, chocolate, which was fine at the time. There was no females that were really like acting like it was their mother uh, to this baby. That none of the females were hanging around very long. Um, they're I always check. I checked their backsides and didn't see any didn't see any signs. None of them looked like they had actually had the calf. Bison are really interesting and they handle mourning of the loss of a bison very interesting like. I don't know how to describe it, but it's unique. There's a couple of females that were coming up to it. Big Joe came up to it and I I just couldn't figure out which mom it was. Who had this calf? I wasn't sure 
because they would just come up and smell it and I would look at their backside to see who the mama was. So basically an unclaimed calf at this point, unclaimed dead red dog. And I'm wondering what is going on. So after that, we started doing a, basically a drive through the herd. And I'm dropping some cubes to get them to come over and get in a line. And that's where the females, I can see their backside. But what I noticed about this calf is she was completely cleaned off. Um, there was no birthing sac, no fluid, no tissue, nothing. The umbilical cord was actually still sort of uh, wet. With the calf looking like it was in perfect shape, couldn't find the mama didn't know who had the calf. We started looking through all these females. There's some evidence on the back side of a female that shows that they've had a calf. We're trying to look for the female that uh, had the calf. What I noticed is, kind of drove through the herd and I'm like, what is going on? None of these females look like they had a calf. All the afterbirth was completely gone. There was a little bit left right next to the calf. Everything was eaten. That's what they typically do, is they eat the afterbirth. And then I looked in the distance, across the pond, and if you guys want to take one guess of who it was, it was our uh, special cow that I like to say, and it was our Princess Eleanor. And I knew right then and there um, it was hers. She was kind of away from the herd and she was the only female that we had not checked within a couple minutes. Oh, dang it. So I wanted to confirm and I went over to Eleanor, but I pulled up to her and I could tell on the backside of it, it was evident that she had had this cat. So I got the herd away from the baby with the cubes. And by this time the herd's moving away. Brooks and I are talking. I actually call Marissa and talk to her and let her know what's going on. I was pretty upset, just emotionally sad because it was Eleanor. Just everything's running through my mind of why, what happened, how'd she lose it? See, Eleanor has had two calves already. This was her third calf that she's ever had. And the first two were completely fine, no issues. But if you don't know much about Eleanor, she's our special cow, she's the first one I ever touched. She's part of our original five members of the herd uh, when we first started. She was the one I could feed out of the, my hand the first time. She's just been our special cow. She's unique, she just is a little bit different. Well, at the, uh, the problem with that is she's at the bottom of the pecking order. She's sweet as can be. And then two years ago, her vision started kind of getting interesting and we noticed it had changed. Her short distance vision became bad a couple years ago. I don't know why. She lost a, a good portion of her vision. She can still see, but she is partially blind. And it's the short distance. You can pull up in the pasture and she can look up and see my truck. She can see the AT, ATV from a distance. She can see other bison. She can smell other bison. But it's the short distance that she struggles with. Because of her vision, it causes a lot of working issues and uh, pasture moving and stuff like that. In most cases, if she's in the wild, the wolves or the bears would have got her. Right? If she's on a ranch or most operations, cattle or bison, um, most people would have already sold her or processed her. But in our case, we're not gonna do that. She's our princess, she's one of our foundation herd members. It's Eleanor, she's a sweet, sweet cow. And a lot of people love her, and so do we. So we're not getting rid of Eleanor. This day is a very, very sad day. Out of all the cows to lose a calf, it is hard to accept that and lose a calf. We went through this last summer, we lost three. But when Eleanor loses a calf, it's hard. It hits us hard. 
So when I talk about these bison and how they handle the mourning process, it's not just the one who lost the calf. It's all the other members. Big Joe came up to the calf. Hoss came up to the calf. But what was interesting is you can watch Hoss here. Hoss is actually pushing the calf. And I think what this is is I've seen this before is they're trying to get the calf up. They want the calf to get up and move. And I, that's just a that's heart-wrenching to watch. But it's unique that Hoss, even as a turd of a bull he is, a knucklehead, he's still trying to get this calf up because he, it's part of the family. It's uh, part of the herd. And uh, I think it was... It's pretty neat watching these animals and how they handle those things, but it was neat to watch him kind of come over to that calf and bump it and bump it. And it looks physical, but he's trying to get that calf up and he wants it to move with the herd. So she must have had it the night before or during the night or early that morning. The assumption I'm making uh, just from doing this for uh, coming on five years now, this May will be five years since we started our YouTube channel. And uh, in May of 2019 is when we started a YouTube channel. So we're going to be celebrating our five years of YouTube. Uh, but Eleanor made it made her way to the calf and um, kind of hung out by it and stuff. So that was the end of it for me. Um, Brooke started to figure it out at that point. She's, she's smart. She knew something was there. Um, she knew the calf passed away. And so I had to explain to Brooks what happened me not knowing exactly what happened everybody can make your comments and speculations of of what happened you know she's had calves before and never had a problem uh we you know we had issues last summer bell star com had a completely perfect calf but something happened in labor where she lost the calf and she did her job everything was licked off and was completely fine with last year's calf and this year in eleanor's calf it's just sad because it's eleanor so we don't know what happened. Uh, there may have been a complication at birth. Um, and we can make all these assumptions, but we've lost a red dog. I like to give them 24 hours to mourn. It's something I like to do. I let all the cows last year mourn over their calf. I give them just a day to mourn over it and uh, we'll go from there. Two bad things have happened. One, Eleanor's lost her calf. And then two, I want you to pay attention to something and uh, you, you can kind of help me out on this, but uh, and I want to help you on this. Guys, my Facebook account got hacked about a month ago. I've been trying to get it back since then, and, and that's not easy on Facebook. I don't know if a lot of you are on our Facebook or follow our Facebook page, but it's Cross Timbers Bison, guys. There is an S in that, okay? Cross Timbers Bison Facebook page is completely down. Okay, guys? Here's what's happened since then. There's been other pages for the past five years or so. People try to use our account, use our brand to reach people. If you see anything out there, you'll see some that say cross timbers bison in one word. You'll see a cross timber bison. Now they blocked me. Other people can see it, but they blocked me from it. So I can't see a lot of those pages, but I know that they're out there because a lot of you are reaching out to me, letting me know. Um, you've also let the arms family know. We appreciate you reaching out to my brother-in-law and my sister DJ and the arms family Homestead of letting them know you don't have to reach out to them guys I know that the Facebook page has been hacked, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna try to scam you They're gonna email you. They're gonna message you on Facebook. Don't buy into it guys I will let everyone know when we get that Facebook page back up the official Facebook page back up. There was almost 300,000 followers on that page. If you see anything else, guys, do not pay attention. Do not buy into it. Be careful with the emails. Be careful with the messages on Facebook. Don't let them bait you. There's a lot of scammers out there, guys. It's our, our page is completely down. Anything else that's trying to reach out to you is a scam. It's fake. You guys are awesome followers. We appreciate you looking out for us. If you do see any interesting behavior, or anything you can report a bunch of that stuff on Facebook guys that being said I hate to bring you all the bad news all in one video but it just stinks whenever one of your precious most special bison loser calf 
we'll check in with you guys after uh, after Eleanor has some time with her calf and get ready for the working guys we're gonna do that pretty soon thank you guys for watching us see you guys soon